Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol BIOAQ. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like a few weeks worth of time, it's actually just the past few days broken down into 30 minute time slices. I let you this time frame think it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Been doing this analysis on a very routine basis. Did it yesterday, so that's where these green and red line annotations are coming from. And the big thing right now going into tomorrow, Friday, to close out the week, in my mind, is all about this right there. And the question on, you know, is just, you know, is this a true break? Is this the start of something bigger, or is this just a head fake? Now, yes, I realize the price has closed up above that red line. But in my mind, I'm still a little bit skeptical. And, you know, uh, now if you want to call that, you know, a clean break and call that a level of support, I'm not going to argue against it. But, you know, in my, you know, years of trading, you always want to just err on the side of caution and make sure that it's actually a true break. You may be thinking, what are you talking about? What is a true break? It's already up above it. That's true. But a true break has two parts. There's kind of two boxes that needs to be checked. And that first box, yeah, you can check because the price has broken up above it. But then the second box is, can the price actually stay above it? Case in point right here. Yeah, sure, the price actually broke above that level, but when it came to you know getting that second box of can the price stay above it, it couldn't quite do it and fell back below it. So therefore, this remained a level of resistance. I'm not saying that the price is not gonna stay above it. I don't know, that's hence the question mark. But that's really kind of the key thing in my mind going forward, you know, into tomorrow is, you know, if this is the start of something bigger, well, then, you know, kind of the obvious is, well, then by default, of course, this is going to be a true break. Of course, the price is now going to stay up above that red line there. But that's what I'm very curious of. And, you know, I should also just, you know, if the price does fall back below the red line, I'm not saying that ruins the entire chart or anything like that. I mean, the price is still well up above this level of support right here. It's still well up above the 50 period moving average, that purple line right there. So by no means am I saying if the price falls below the red line, like everything's ruined. I'm just saying that's kind of, and I don't wanna come across like this is some sort of like secret discovery on my part. No, anybody that uses charts is wondering the same thing. They've noticed that it has, you know, it's, it's flirting right around these, uh, you know, highs here. Now it's just a matter of can the price actually continue on through with it and maintain the break. So yeah, is this a true break? We shall see, but tomorrow should be pretty interesting. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.